We've all heard the phrase, everything's fine in moderation. But when you're trying to lose weight, there are some things that may be worth cutting back on. One of the things that could be getting in the way of your weight loss goals is alcohol. Melissa Ike is a registered dietitian and health coach. She's here to share how alcohol can affect your weight loss journey. And she has some fun drink alternatives that can help keep you on track with your goals. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you for having me. So when talking about alcohol, and we just read that it is an empty calorie, you were saying that this is our fourth macronutrient. So what exactly do you mean by this? It is. So alcohol um, is considered a macronutrient, but we don't count it because it has no nutritional value. So it's not like a carb a fat or a protein, but it still has that caloric value to it. Um, when we talk about macronutrients, um, the carbs, fats, and proteins, they all have a certain amount of calories per gram. Alcohol does too. Alcohol is actually seven calories per gram. So when you're looking at a, um, a nutrition label um, where the, um, the, the calories are listed, let's say at 100 calories for a can of beer, and then you look down and it has maybe four carbs in it, doesn't have any protein, it doesn't have any fat. Well, that doesn't add up, that doesn't make sense. Right. If you take four carbs times the macronutrient value of four, that equals only 16 calories. You have 100 calories in there. So all the rest of those calories are actually coming from alcohol. So okay. it's important to make sure and still be mindful of the calorie intake of the alcoholic beverage and not just the carbs. Okay, so if I'm, no, if I know that I'm going out with friends that night, mm -hmm. what if I cut back on my calories during the day and I leave 400 calories open and use that for alcohol? Shouldn't that be the same then? Won't that not affect me? So it would be a better op option than doing nothing because um, you're still compensating for those calories. However, again, alcohol has no nutrition value. Um, those calories actually um, get stored as fat. Um, versus being used for energy and for burning fat. So when you start ingesting alcohol, your body immediately wants to get rid of it. It turns into that energy mode of getting rid of that alcohol as quickly as possible and as efficient as possible. And then the fat burning process is put on hold. Okay, so the fat loss is one way that alcohol affects us, but we also have some other tips that we wanna talk about. Um, so sleep. Yeah, so alcohol actually inhibits you from getting into that deep sleep, that, that REM sleep. Um, you'll go in and out of sleep modes and you don't actually get into a deep sleep. So you'll notice if you've had a few drinks the night before, you wake up exhausted. Even if you've had um, enough hours in your bed, you don't get the same kind of rest. And if we aren't getting good rest, how does that affect weight loss? Um, so the next day, your motivation is going to be... Um, lessened. You're not going to want to get out of bed. You're going to want to hang out on the couch all day. You're probably going to want to eat those feel-good foods. Greasy. Um, <laughs> greasy, just to make yourself you think you're going to feel better after that. Um, but it's, in the end, it's, you know, just a double whammy from the night before and then the next day. Okay. And what did you mean by muscle protein synthesis? Yeah, so if you've had a really good workout that day, you lifted the weights, you did the cardio, um, your body breaks down that muscle and it wants to repair it. Once you start ingesting that alcohol, it actually goes um, to the wayside because, again, your body sees this alcohol. It's a poison. It wants to get rid of it as soon as possible. So the repairing of your muscle um, either doesn't happen that day or it gets put on hold for later. Um, and so all that hard work you just did in the gym, yeah. it's, it's not being paid off. Okay. So when we're talking about doing this in moderation, if there's people who just aren't willing to completely give up alcohol, even if they are trying to lose weight, are there better options, just still talking about alcohol, are there better options, alcohol, whether it's a beer or a White Claw or tequila, or is alcohol just alcohol? Um, yeah, there are some good options. I always encourage people to make sure that you are drinking a glass of water with every single alcoholic drink that you have um, because your body is going to get dehydrated from the alcohol too. So at least you can help compensate some of the water loss. Um, also, you want to stick to... Um, I like like Tito's. Um, it's a little bit lighter, and it's I think that one is made from a potato starch, and so it's okay. a little bit better tolerated, and that, especially the next day, it helps you feel a little bit better too. Um, as far as beer goes, you want to stick with the light beers. Those heavier beers will also have like a ton of carbs in addition to the already a lot of macronutrients from the alcohol. So that will help offset it too if you have a lighter beer. Okay, and when you say moderation, mm -hmm. what would you explain moderation as? So the CDC says that 
Um, moderation is one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Um, and that doesn't mean that you can consume for a woman seven drinks in one night. It means one per day. Right. Okay. So let's talk about some different alternatives. Say you are willing to give up alcohol and you are not going to do it, but you have that crave maybe for that carbonation while you're out with friends. What are some different options? Yeah, so you can make a virgin mojito. This time of year, summer, you want something light and fresh. Um, so I actually, this one here, I just muddled some mint leaves, which is always feels really good in the summertime. Um, I also have a couple limes in there and then ice, and then I'll just put the soda water, this is a lime soda water, on top. So you get that carbonation, and you get the mint and some of that lime. So it'll be nice and refreshing, um, and it'll feel like a drink, right? but it's not. Exactly. Yeah. And you have a couple other options. Yeah, so this one is um, kombucha, and this one, um, it's fermented. So it kind of has that bitter taste like alcohol does. So if you like the flavor of alcohol and you put this over ice, it'll also help some of that craving. It'll also make you feel kind of like you're having a drink, again, without having to actually yeah. ingest the alcohol. And kombucha is actually really good for you. It has yeah. all those um, good bacteria. I in. love it. I drink yeah. it. Yeah. Every morning I try to at least. Um, and then this middle one. So this is actually, this is just to kind of demonstrate to you to be mindful of when you are out pur purchasing alcohol. This looks like it'll be light and fresh. Um, it's, I, it's just um, wine in a can. But I actually, I figured it out. I went online to see um, what the calories were because calories most likely aren't going to be listed on the alcohol um, bottles okay. or cans because it's not regulated by the FDA. They don't have to put it on there. Um, so I did some research and I found out that this whole can is 225 calories. Oh wow. Just one can. I was and, not expecting that. Right. So you would think maybe, oh this is maybe like a glass of wine and actually on here it says um, on the back that it equals half of a bottle of wine. Just that little can. Just this little Ooh, can. can. <laughs> um, but it looks cute, right? And it's right. marketed for women who want that nice, fresh right. drink in the summertime. And if you're counting um, your macros, I figured this out that this would be about 55 carbs. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, it's an eye opener. Yeah. And it's, you know, you can have things in moderation, but just be informed. Right. And then you can make that informed decision. And if it's worth it, for you or if it's not. I always, I always tell my clients, if it's worth it, have the drink. Right. But I'm informing you on what those alcohol, that, what the alcohol is going to do yeah. to you, and then you can make that decision. Lots of great tips. Thank you so much, Melissa, yeah, for coming in today. Thanks.